Yo, hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to get started with ENZ Online Banking in 2023. You will learn how to sign up for an account, navigate the online platform, and complete basic banking transactions. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, the first thing that I will need you guys to do is go to ENZ bank account. So just go here and go to the first link that will be appearing to you. Or just go to this account which is over here. Here it is. And now all you have to do is go ahead and click on register. On the registration process, you should here give them register for ENZ internet banking. So here you should give them a customer registration number and telecode that's in case you had already one of them if not you can try another way this another way will help you to get your credential back so this will help you to get registered so do you know uh, your do you know your customer registration number no i don't that's okay we can help you on the next few screens click on next here to help protect your security you will need a couple of things here you have your NZ card number and PIN and your register for mobile. In case you had them, just put them in here and cut PIN here and you will be perfect and set it up. In case you didn't have none of them, it's all good guys. I will show you how you can create everything from zero to an account. And basically, first of all, if you'd like to register, as I showed you, click on register now. But as you know, not all of us has this ENZ Internet Banking Registration Number. What we should do is go ahead and call them on this number over here, which is for the outside people who are outside Australia. Because this bank is only in Australia if you didn't know yet. So here, all you have to do is contact them. And if you are an Australian and you'd like to go to one of the nearby locations by you, all you have to do is go to ATMs or go here, search your address and click on filter or list of view or whatever you'd like. And you will be able to book an appointment with them just by clicking on here. So all you have to do is book now and then click on personal banking, verify ID, one of these appointment type. So for us, for example, we want to create a new account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to here everyday account choose one of these kind of things so let's go for example to here here I'm going to take this personal account and here if they showed me these two cities I'm going with this one and I'm going to go for example for any one of these kind of banks that are nearby me unfortunately I'm not on Australia, Australia at the moment to actually do that but overall, if you were an Australian citizen, you will find it over here. So that was for the Australian. For the others, as I said, you can either contact them via phone number, which is over here in their website, or else go to the support center and just go where you'd like to choose. So here you can contact them via messages. For example, to get started, you can click here, register and log into online banking, first time registration and here how to register for ANZ app all you have to do is open the ANZ app on your mobile device swipe to the carousel and tap get started then enter your customer registration number which is CRN and once more CRN you don't have it already so you have to actually call them and get that number well this is the only way to get the CRN number from them. There is no other way but this one. And here they are the actual numbers. So you can call them on this one if you were in Australia. And if you're not, there was a second number in here. So contact us. And you will find all kinds of numbers over here for general inquiries. Here we go. And for entering bank inquiries, for lost or stolen card. And here you are. There is everything here. If you'd like to message them, you can message them here on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, 
even Instagram or YouTube or you can message us or call us in the NG app which is you can find it on the App Store or the Google Play so you can find it literally anywhere on your mobile phone and yeah that was literally how we can get the CRN which is the only thing missing or stopping you from creating the account on ENZ banking let's try for example to get it in another way if we search for CRN uh, creation what is customer registration your CRN is a number provided to you by ENZ when you first became a customer it's a unique number just for you and is different to any of your ENZ BSP and account numbers if you registered for ENZ phone banking your CRN B may be the same number for both services so here if you want to CRN and you'd like to get a new CRN we can click here search for CRN and here as you can see there is a bunch of uh, like uh, articles about it let's click here create so here we go if you clicked here find your CRN recovery login details change NZ so as you can see once more there is nothing about the CRN which is the most important thing as I mentioned and as you don't know you can create the ENZ bank accounts for both personal and business here you might find all the options that you get as a personal and here as a business for example as a personal you can ha have bank accounts credit cards home loans personal loans insurance investing travel international ways to bank financial web link security center intermediary deposits and private banking for the business you'll have loans and overdraft business credit card business account merchant and payment financially ready hub online business banking international business engineers banking services and security center so these are the options that you will have as personal or business and for institutional you will have industries you have solutions rates fees term access and discourseries global network easy insights and contact them as your support so you'll have a bunch of features that you can use for your own and yeah guys that was basically it about ENZ banking so once more you can't really have an account unless you had the CRN which you only can get through a phone call or booking or visiting to their own location so as I showed you there is several ways other than calling them if you're not an Australian citizen well there is phone number there is also contacting them through the application or through the website or even through their social media so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions one by one and yeah that was it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial bye bye